Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we will build OpenCV on the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. Let's get started. Let's take a look at this machine. It was just flashed. You can see that we have four gigabytes free on the disk. That's not going to be quite enough for us to build OpenCV. So before we start that process, let's clean it up a little bit. During the install process, all of the .deb files are copied over to the Jetson. So we can get rid of these. I advise you to store them somewhere like on a USB drive or some such. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just delete them. CUDA L4T is rather large, 1.3 gigabytes. So let's get rid of that also. I don't think there's anything in here. And we will empty this trash. Permanently deleted. With the deprecation of OpenCV for Tegra, starting with L4T 28.1, you may want to build OpenCV from source. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build OpenCV TX1, which contains the outline of a script to help in this task. Let's take a look at that script. It's called buildopencv.sh. In this first step here, we install some dependencies. As you know, OpenCV is a very rich environment, so this may or may not be enough of the dependencies to support your use case. Next, we install Python, in this case, version 2.7. We download the OpenCV repository and check out version 3.3. We also check out the OpenCV extras so that we can run some tests if we'd like. We switch over to the OpenCV directory, and because we build out of tree, we make a new directory for the build. We use CMake to create the make file to build OpenCV. So we're going to use Python 2, so we set that on. We are going to use CUDA support. So we have the GPU behind us. For the Jetson TX1, the architecture is 5.3. And we are also going to use GStreamer so that we can access the onboard camera. So we set GStreamer to on, and then we run make. So let's grab the address here. Git clone. Let's turn up the CPU clocks so this will compile faster. Switch over to the repository directory. And start our build process. Okay, our first time through it looks like it's complete, but I think it's a liar because make is a liar that lies. Let's go take a look at our OpenCV build directory. And we are going to run make again. Ah, there's a straggler. Now let's let it finish this up.
Okay, so it looks like everything is made now. Let's install it. Installation complete. Okay, let's clear this off. Let's use CC Make to take a look at some of our options. Let's see, I know CC Make is not loaded, so let's look for it. There it is. CMake dash curses slash gooey. Gooey, gooey, gooey. As we talked about earlier, there are a whole bunch of settings here. This gives you a feel for what you can set. So now OpenCV is built and installed on the Jetson TX1. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time through, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.